Hello, I'm Mr. Elgar, I'm Head of Geography. In a short while, we're going to get two year 13s who are doing really well in geography and are gonna go on and study, in it, study it at university to talk to you about why they're doing the course and where they hope it leads them. But I just wanted to introduce you to some of the reasons why you, as an individual, might want to do geography. First of all, if we think about the careers up here, there's a huge range from conservation, town planning, all the way through to working in business, working in the law. But if you think about what's happening right now, there are loads of careers that are going to be linked to geography that are going to be required. So for instance, the whole thing about immunisation and planning where to immunise people is going to be the role of geographers. When you think about the issue of a lot of businesses um, failing in town centres and people having to restart businesses and regenerate certain areas of towns, that's going to be geography. When you think about climate change, all of the stuff that's happening with certain areas of the country experiencing real problems with the weather, Geographers are going to be the ones who plan so that there is a sustainable future for them. So there are major careers in all of those things, as well as the whole travel and tourism industry, which is going to start really going again next year when we get through the worst of this crisis. So there's a variety of jobs that you can do from geography. What about you? What do you need? Well, if you're interested in science and maths, geographies the subject for you. It goes alongside those. There's a lot of maths, there's a lot of science in geography. But if you're interested in the arts, if you're interested in English, but any of the other arts as well, geography is also the subject for you because it's sort of middle of the road. So there's a place for all of you and it develops all of those skills that are outlined there on the PowerPoint. If we just go to the next slide, what about you? Why should you do geography? Well, one of the things I'd say to you is, have you spent five years on the journey to becoming an excellent geographer? I am really impressed by year 11 this year. And I'm not just talking about Nathan, Maisha, Monique, Marici. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm not just talking about the very top end who we are hopeful that they're gonna get nines. I'm talking to others of you who've made massive progress in the last few months because you're working really well. I'm talking about Veronica, I'm talking about Dilpri, I'm talking about Ramon, Daniel, Grace, all of you making huge progress and there's more I could mention. So you're on your journey to becoming an excellent geographer and that is the next stage. So you've got those essential skills knowing how to use case studies, interpret photographs and graphs, how to read maps. You know the difference between social, economic and environmental. What is, dis what is required to describe in a question or explain? To what extent do you understand? Uh, to what extent? Um, have you progressed throughout those five years? Well, those people I've just named have moved forward one heck of a lot and it's a staging post GCSE. When you go on to A level or you do travel then that's the next stage and we'd like to make that journey with you. And finally, and this is important because a lot of you will be making some really important life choices in the next few months. Do you like your geography teachers? More importantly, do you know your geography teachers are going to do everything in their power to improve your grades? And that will go for any teacher at George Salter they, you know, they will go the extra mile and get you the grades. So we've been with you throughout the last few years and we want to push that journey still further onto our level. Let me talk briefly about the entrance qualifications. To get onto geography our level, you need a five in geography, a level five, that will be a lot of you. To get onto travel, you need a four. Now travel is like A-level geography, it's very similar, except it is more vocational. So those people who do that course can end up in the multitude of different jobs that are available in the travel industry. I've talked for too long, that's because I really want a lot of you to come and do geography here at George Salter. I'm now going to pass on to Elizabeth and Shante. Thank you.
Hello, we are 13 students who study A-level Geography. Uh, we study both human and physical geography. In the human section, we talk about contemporary urban environments, global governments and changing places. In physical geography, we studied coast, water and carbon cycle and hazards. We chose to study this course firstly because it's familiar to the GCSE uh, spec because a lot of the content is similar, it's just built on and just a bit, in a bit more detail. Um, there's also chances for trips. Um, we study local and a faraway place, so there's chances to go on trips for those. And there's also a residential that you get to go on, where you study and get to collect your own data. And that's 20%, which is coursework. In A-level, you might meet new people, so it gives you a chance to bond in the group. And you get to have a better understanding because you can physically see um, the process that's happening, such as like the residential was at a coal sign, so we got to see the processes that were occurring and uh, measure the data ourselves to give us better understanding. If you choose to study geography, you can gain access to a lot of careers, such as a cartographer, environmental consultant, a meteorologist, or a seismologist to study earthquakes. Um, in the human element, you learn a lot about business around the world, which can help you potentially gain a career in business or even uh, create your own. Geography graduates have above average likelihood of gaining employment. Geography graduates' earnings outperform many other subjects, including technology, biosciences and history. Overall, geography is a very well-rounded and accredited subject. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask also any job teachers. Bye! Bye. <laughs>